Well, the last game of the season is upon us and it is that trip to Leeds, a fixture that had so much potential just a few weeks ago and it could end up being a, a complete dead rubber. Um, Steve, are you going? Have you, you sold your ticket yet? Or are you, are you going uh, I am going, yeah. Um, <laughs> You're yeah. playing a week then, Steve. Congratulations. Yes. Can you, uh, can you talk me through the connotations? Because I got a bit confused. It, it, Leeds might still have something to play for, mightn't they? But it's looking a bit slim. Uh, yes. Yeah, so basically, it's, so Ipswich are Ipswich play Coventry on Tuesday night, which is their game in hand from the uh, FA Cup semi-final weekend. Mm. Um, so if Ipswich get if Ipswich avoid defeat, they will be second going into the final week. Um, so basically, it will then be entirely in their hands. Um, and basically beat Huddersfield at home and they go up, um, regardless of what Leeds do. But if Ipswich, um, basically, I think if Ipswich, even if Ipswich win on Tuesday, Leeds can still go up, um, but it would require Ipswich to lose at home to Huddersfield and Leeds to beat us. Um, so, yeah, it needs a bit of a turnaround, but they've got the goal difference in their favour comfortably. So there's nothing that um, nothing that Ipswich can, re- unless they go and beat um, beat Coventry, uh, probably about ten nil. <laughs> um, oh, in fact, no, it's, it's it, they're seven seven goals behind, so they would need to beat Coventry um, by seven on Tuesday night. Which, I mean, let's be honest, is probably unlikely. Um, and then they would be above Leeds, um, and they they could then possibly lose and and still go up. But it would it's. It's let's be honest, it's it's unlikely. So basically, um, Ipswich win on Saturday. Um, they are almost certainly going to be going up. Um, but yeah, still potentially something to play for for Leeds. But as I said earlier, I think their their mental capacity for that is not not particularly high. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm saying this, and we'll go and get trounced five nil now. But <laughs> anyway. That was one of the things I think you wrote about this week, Alfie, how we struggled against the top sides in the division. But this was one of the ones that we actually won back in September, that that 3-1 win. Um, so a, a decent result against one of the, the top five or six sides is it has been few and far between. So what are your thoughts about this one at the weekend? Yes, yeah, as, as I said last week, so I think they've obviously lost both games to, to Leicester and Ipswich. They did beat Leeds um, and they also ended a... Um, a you know, winless or a losing run rather by doing so. And I think that came at a time when the move was quite similar to how it is now, I think, in, in terms of the way that St. Mary's is just a, a little bit... I'd say, it was, I'd say it was worse then. Yeah, well, there wasn't any credit in the bank back then, mm. was there? So that's the thing. Obviously, they've since gone on 25 games unbeaten, and rightly so, there's credit in the bank. But it, it was a massive game for them um, to turn the season around, to, to give everybody that belief they can do it against the top sides. I mean, obviously, we've since seen that they, they've not really been brilliant um, against the top half. But uh, I... yeah. The fact that Leeds are still in it when you know next Saturday three PM comes, they, they they'll have a chance. They'll believe that they can still go up. They'll, mm. they'll need a win. They'll need a, a result to go their way. But I think that could be a, a problem for something, in my opinion, they're, because they're not going to throw in the towel. Um, Ellen Road will get right behind them, and it will be a big test. Um, but you can probably just drop and drag the same things I've said for the last two weeks in here now and just play the clip rather than me saying it again because it's just another test of their credentials. Can they do it? Do they want it? Who's Russell Martin going to play? Is he going to play? Um, the, the 11 that he wants to play in the semi-final, I think that's probably wise. I think you, you, put, you probably pick your 11 for the semi-final and play exactly that. Um, I don't think there's any injuries or any reasons why they couldn't do that, is there? Um, obviously, apart from the long-term absentees. And we'll see what they've got. Um, but I'm not massively I'm not massively optimistic. I'm not massively confident. I think it's going to be an interesting atmosphere to play in and we'll just have to see how they handle it. Um, but good luck. Did you call it the bottle job derby, Glenn? Was that is that credited to you? Or... <laughs> I definitely saw the bottle jobs. Yeah, I definitely saw that kicking around somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I am genuine. I mean, well, I am genuinely surprised that Leeds have kind of fallen away as, mm. as much as they had because when they they went on that ridiculous, they run won twelve after, in a row, I think, didn't they? Yeah, they went, they went on that ridiculous run after Christmas, hit the top of the league, and then the wheels came off, and that. That's kind of been a bit of a theme. I mean, you know, we got we were second for one weekend, weren't we? And we yeah. actually got ourselves to where we wanted to be, and then we lost three games out of four, mm. and 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 the wheels fell off. Um, Ipswich are now, you know, for the past few weeks they've been in in sight of, you know, of confer- basically. I mean, they had a chance of winning the league up, up until Leicester smashed us, and but they I don't think they've won for four games either. So. 
it just seems that whenever anyone gets themselves into the position to actually achieve something, they just they just fall over. And uh, I'm gen- I'm genuinely surprised that um, that Leeds have not not been able to um, you know maintain it. And I'm sure a lot of their fans are going back through their Twitter history and um, deleting stuff that they um, they said when it was uh, when it was all looking like it was uh, going to be a cakewalk. But, well, they, were, uh, they were they were champions at the end of February, weren't they? Champions elect, I think you'll find them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they certainly were. So, I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's it's going to be a funny game. But the fact that you know they will still have something to play for, and we haven't, um, I, I think it's going to be incredibly difficult. It, it's a shame it's not a huge game. I mean, it, I mean, mm. people have been looking at this mm. since pro- uh, since we started being decent, basically back in probably September, uh, sorry, October. Um, ever since then, people have been looking at this fixture going, that could be massive because everyone assumed Leicester would be home and hosed and it would be a playoff for second place sort of thing. But uh, but it hasn't quite worked out that way, uh, which is a shame. I I think we'll be a little bit mix and match again. I don't see I don't see Flynn down starting. I think they'll try and probably give him a half this game. He did, I mean, he didn't look fit when he came on yesterday. So I think they'll... Obviously, it depends how it goes during the week, but I, I can't see him playing a full game. So I would expect Shay Charles to start again and Downs maybe to come on. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, I, I I think bearing in mind what happened yesterday, I, I think it'll be another game where we'll, we'll go up there and uh, it'll be a case of, um, you know, trying trying to give players a game. Wouldn't surprise me if Sekumara started again, to be honest. Um, but obviously, Surely you in this want, run of form, though, you just want your team to be clicking and connecting and I, I just can't help but feel that playing your best 11 the, the team that are going to play together at West Brom or at Norwich is surely the only way to do it yeah, yeah I mean that's one way of looking at it but we could play our best what we think is our, our mm. best team against Leeds and still get gubbed 4-0 <laughs> and, and then and then where are you you yeah. know you, you, you've got not, you've got nothing so I, I still I still think they will rest a couple uh, I mean there's talk about you know I thought he was dead Ross Stewart coming back Coming in and um, and you know maybe playing you know like 10, 15 minutes at the end that that would be a positive to come out for it. But in terms of result, I'm I'm really not not expecting anything with with the atmosphere that there will be at Leeds. They've still got something to play for. You know, Ellen Road will be uh, will be very up for it. And um, their their forward players, I think, if if they get on the front foot, their forward players, especially the way we're defending at the moment with the lack of intensity. Um, which was still there yesterday, especially in the fullback positions. Um, I, I, it worries me what the likes of um, Somerville and Nanto will um, will do to us. So, uh, so I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not anticipating a um, you know a, a result based bolt of positivity from this game. Put it that way. Would you go with the strongest eleven, Steve? Do you sort of treat it like the final preseason friendly before the the, the two most important games of the year? Yeah, I think so. Um, as long as, I mean, I think ultimately you you assess the sort of physical condition of players yeah. um, going into the weekend. But as we've already discussed, for the first time in ages, we've got a full week to to go at mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And you'd like to think that um, hopefully Downs is is fully fit by by the weekend. As Glenn rightly said, he looked looked a little bit leggy in his uh, twenty minute cameo um, on Saturday, but. Um, yeah, I think ultimately these players are key to the way that to the way that we want to play. And um, if we're if we're trying to get back any sort of confidence um, going into the playoffs, then I think you've got to kind of roll the. I mean, it's not even a roll the dice, really, is it? It's it's kind of you've got to just roll with what you what you think is best. And ultimately, the only way we're going to beat Leeds um, if I mean, you always go into games wanting to win, but the only way we're going to beat Leeds is by playing our best eleven. I don't think you've—I don't think you really leave yourself with with an awful lot of awful lot of chance if um, if we don't, um, because I mean, you basically just with when the team sheet comes out, you're basically telling the opposition, "Yeah, we don't care about this game. Yeah. Uh, all, all yours, lads." Um, and at that point, then Ellen Road does become a problem um, for us, and it's yeah, I, th- I think. You've got to go into it with with the mindset of right. This is this is what we're going to do. This is this is how we're going to going to approach the next hopefully four games. Um, and yeah, let's get it right. Get it right first time, and then and then one, if we if you get that get that result, 
um, at Elland Road, then all of a sudden you go into the playoffs and everyone's feeling a little bit better about themselves. There's a little bit, little bit more of a spring in your step. Um, and you've then got another week. Well, in fact, you've got, um, got eight days yeah. um, before the for the first leg of the semi-final to fine tune things and and get everything get everything sort of uh, ship shape. And if we do end up playing Leeds at, at Wembley, you know, if if if, if big ifs, um, obviously psychologically having done the double over them in the season will put us in a pretty good frame of mind. Am I getting a bit carried away now? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, we talk about Norwich, and someone was asking me yesterday about oh, who do you rather have, West Brom or or Norwich? You go well, we have beaten West Brom twice, drew with Norwich twice, so you think well, maybe you know West Brom will have a better shot, but. Um, I, I think we're clutching at straws a little bit. Well, certainly I am. Um, I want to do some score predictions. Now, I must just point out that the Stoke results um, made it the 14th game this season and not a single member of our panel have got a single point in the Predictions <laughs> League. So if that doesn't tell you all you need to know about our predictions, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. of certainly do not uh, do not say anything that we say um, and uh, <laughs> put any money on it. Steve, I'm going to ask you for your <laughs> prediction first because at the moment I think it's just going to be um, – I, I, I think we'll get – a one nil defeat to be honest um ben's already chipped in with a three nil defeat um that's going to be a popular one as well i think steve your your prediction for leeds yeah i mean that's i mean that's, i'd like to think that we go yeah, 47 there and, quid yeah um yeah i mean that's i mean that's that's one thing to kind of look at it in terms of the lineup in terms of whether um word gets down to the to the management well we've been the fans have been absolutely ripped off here. Um, mm. I think we kind of owe it to those people that are going to to put the to put a strong lineup up. Um, but I mean that it may not may not come into their thinking at all. It's mm. uh, we'll, we'll wait and see for that. But I think um, I think realistically, as long as we go up there and put in some sort of performance, even if we don't win, um, then at least people can see kind of a little bit of progress because the last two games have been. Haven't haven't shown anywhere near enough progress. Cardiff was was absolutely fine for an hour, and then we basically just stepped off and and couldn't get back on it again. Mm. Um, so it's all about all about kind of building, getting that momentum back up again. Um, even if it's a even if if it's a narrow defeat, which I think is probably what I expect. Um, so I'll go two one. Two one. If you're watching along live, don't forget to put your score predictions in the comments. Leeds fans as well that are watching, the more the merrier. <laughs> um, Alfie, score prediction for you. How do you see it playing out? Assuming that we play our, our best eleven, maybe. Yeah, well, I, I really don't know what team he's going to put out, so I think that makes it even more complicated. But I do agree with Steve in that I, obviously the result doesn't really matter because the league's already done and dusted. They're definitely finishing fourth. But I think the performance is really the important thing. I think if you lose the game, but you, you play well, you you take your chances, you, you create a few more, you actually you know, defend some moments, the goals aren't just given away cheaply, um, then I think people go into the playoffs pretty, you know, feeling better about themselves, feeling more confident. So I, I don't like going for a defeat. For the third time this season, I will. I will say a... Uh, I'll say a 3-1 loss, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Glenn, your, uh, your score prediction, please. The way... The way to beat Leeds is the way that we beat them earlier on in the season and the way, from what I saw, I only saw the highlights, QPR beat them. Mm. And that's like fast, direct, go straight at the goal type of type of football. If, if we can do that, then we might give them trouble. I, I totally agree with what Stephen Alfie is saying about playing the best team. I just don't think we will. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 I think football managers these days, they they tend to worry about too much about the following game and not not enough about the one that's directly in front of them. Um, you know, everyone, Russell Martin's already gone on about sort of players being tired and everyone being tired and stuff like that. So even though there is a week between this game and the player, or a week between now and this game and, and a week between the Leeds game and the playoff, I, I can see him, you know, resting, resting people, people playing 45 minutes, that sort of thing. So, uh, so I, I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to put a full side out. Um, and I think that will that will stop us playing the type of football that gives that can potentially give Leeds trouble. If we sort of like don't play on the front foot, then I think their 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 forward players are going to cause us a lot of problems. Um, so I don't think it will be as nasty as Leicester, but I I just, I just think with all these um, with all these sort of question marks hanging over it and the way we're going to approach it, um, I I can't see us 
you know getting anything out of this game other than I, I think it'll be it'll be closer than the the Leicester game but I so yeah I'd go for a 2-1 defeat as well okay get your money on a nil-nil everybody 